Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds, hanging out with this nerd. I'm Ted. And today we have a GM911 from John, and he wants us to help him wrap up a campaign. If you have a GM911 and you'd like to submit it to us, you can send a, an email to nerdarchy at gmail.com, put GM911 in the subject, or you can head over to our forums and use the GM911 section. So, uh, so in essence, like he's got this uh, man versus plants uh, war going on. Mm -hmm. There's three components to a artifact that is going to help with uh, ending this this conflict. The blight Pro threat. Yeah, the problem is is the players have one piece and the enemy have the other two, and he wants to know he's got essentially he's got six sessions left of his game. And they have to they have to acquire the rest of the artifact, mm -hmm. and th and then use it is what I'm getting. So, so. the the real trick is it, according to the email, it looks like they play in like 45 minute sessions. Yes. So it, it tends to make things tricky. I, I'm used to gaming for twice hours. Twice a week, though. So, but it, it, yeah, it is twice a week. So you do have that that situation um but it, it's it's tricky because you can't do anything that's protracted out. his six sessions is like what we would do for a session right so here here's here's one idea like i don't totally lift this from the scott garabay's playbook uh you could totally uh you could totally either narrate or off screen some of the things you need to happen or you could do the star wars things like freaking six six bothans died to get you these two gems you know you, you it doesn't it, it doesn't like they don't have to do it themselves if you're crunched for time and you like you like you said you want to wrap this up and you want it to be plausible mm -hmm. so you can do some narration um and you maybe even like email out to your players or facebook message them or however you guys communicate and give them uh give them what you what, what they need before the session starts because it sounds like you have a really limited time crunch so I would look at and, and, and make an outline of all the things that you feel need need, need to happen for the game. And, and Dave says things can be done in description, narration, other people can do it. But figure out exactly what you find are your key points that are going to allow the story culmination to happen. Look and make at, sure the players are doing those things, and and, well, and make sure that the players are involved in those things. But you want to also, um, if if these are the things that need to be wrapped up or need to be done in a certain order, make sure that you have that so that you can be able to say, okay, this is how much time I have left. This is what's going to take the most the most block of time. So this is how it's got to happen. So, the Luke and Leia and Han, they didn't get the, the Death Star plan. Somebody else did, and. As Dave says, it was, it was Bothans. So, all right, well, what happens if there's an ally that can do that thing that the players can't because they're fulfilling this other criteria or someone else is filling this criteria while the players are going to steal those, those gems or those pieces of the gem? So once the things are together, it's, it's, is, is it unification? And then, all right, the blights are eliminated because you guys have this gem or is there more more to the story so it's outline narration get get your key components figured out so that you you can wrap things up i seen absolutely nothing wrong with narrating cool stuff if you have players who are going to fight the same thing over and over and over again which it sounds like this is a, a possibility don't make them fight every single last thing Okay, you've seen what these guys do. Oh, it's slightly different, so let's fight a, fight a different type of battle. But each time they encounter something that they've already fought, just okay. Last time you took seven hit points. Okay, you take you you took some damage this time. You know, share it out so that they're feeling that the threat is there, but they're not actually having to, to spend the the significant amount of time on combat because it's all about the story and you want to get it wrapped up. You want to get it you know to that to that final point. Well, I, I don't know. Like you can narrate stuff, but I wouldn't dish out damage and stuff like that because people aren't going to like that. Because you, you really are taking away their agency when you when you just arbitrarily say this has happened. You took X amount of damage. I, I would ju I I would just you know gloss over it. Like you know you know they could have short rested that away. That's true. So you know so I don't think it's necessary. 
Um, and again, again, we don't want to. You don't want your players to ever feel like what their their choices don't matter or they don't have a choice. That's true. So it, really, because you have a, you have a condensed uh, time frame to get the story in, like you're gonna pick, you're gonna have to pick and choose what elements are important, and have your players fully involved in those elements. And you know, you could have the other stuff happen in the background. I wouldn't. And again, you don't want to. You don't want to if you're going to do narrate through stuff. You don't want your players to sit through a 45 minute session of you narrating 30 minutes. Right. And, you know, so it's got to be consent condensed and concise. Um, so, sum up your narration in a paragraph or two. Yeah, a couple minutes or whatever for each for each part. Like, and, and if you're doing that, like, you should be able to narrate some, and then they do their. Then they should be able to do stuff and take part in the game. And if there's another spot, again, narrate some. They take part in the game. And, and when I say narrate some, like, yeah, two to five minutes mm. is, is probably a good chunk at a time. Uh, t- in order to give the players information and not have have you sitting there monologuing in front of them the right. whole time. Uh, and also too, like you know, it, at this point, it wouldn't hurt either to to have a discussion with your players and be like, "Well, how would you like like so and so is leaving? We know this. This is a fact. This campaign is ending. You, do you, do you guys, you, how do you guys feel it should end? Or do you do you guys have any ideas how you think it's going to end? And like, if they say something cool, steal it. Oh yeah, that could work. <laughs> yeah, you know, and put it in there. You know, try and match some of those expectations if if they're uh, feasible. So that that that's how I would handle it, John. Uh, I'm sure in the description or not in the description, but in the comments. comments below, you're going to get tons of other ideas and input. So I would definitely check there. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can head over to nerdarchy.com and get some cool swag. Till next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.